Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a BoxyCharm unboxing and a try-on for all the products that I received in January. I did use every single product on my face today and and yeah so that's pretty much what we're going to be doing in today's video. At first I want to talk about what this box theme is. It is Rock 2018. It comes with this little card and the value of this box is pretty high. Like, and there's a few products that I really like and I think that are really good. So it's not just like one product I like. I liked multiple products in this box. So you will see. So if you'd like to see how I got this look and to see what products we got in this month's BoxyCharm, then please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time that I upload. And yeah, I should have multiple videos coming at you this week. So don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can see all the videos that I have. Okay, so the first product that I am going to be using is this It Cosmetics Brow Power Brow Pencil. It's a universal taupe, so you're supposed to be able to use it no matter what color of hair you have. If you have a lighter hair, you would use a lighter hand. If you have darker hair, you would use a darker hand, and that's how you would get the difference. So this retails for $24. I actually got my BoxyCharm like a few days ago, and I've been using some of the products in it. So I actually already used this, and I do like it. The only thing I don't like is this tip is rounded. So you'll see it's kind of harder for you to get an exact shape. But this spoolie, it's so soft. Like, oh, it's so soft. Like, it's really, I really like this spoolie. I think it's a good spoolie. So let's show you on camera what they look like. So I really like this pencil just because it gives me like a natural brow, a quick brow, and yeah, so far, so good. So I am going to clean up my eyebrows with some concealer, and then I'll be back with another product. Okay, so the next product we got in here is an eyeshadow palette. It is this right here. It is the Glam Metals palette by crown pro it retails for $25 so I have not this is the only product oops I have not used yet and it looks like this and it has a little guitar mirror and it looks like it has one matte shadow and maybe like they're all like shimmers except maybe a couple are like a semi matte so I'm going to have to use another palette for my crease shade because I'm not going to use, you know, I can use shimmers, I guess. No, I'm just going to use this palette. We'll just go for that. Okay, so the look I'm going to go for, like, I, I've been doing a lot of greens lately and blues don't really look good on my eyes. So I think I'm going to go for like more of like a silver, this, like put this pop rock all over the lid, which is like this silvery greenish brownish along with that green. So I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna start off with Glam Rock first. And it's kind of like a semi-matte, like it's shimmer, but matte. It's weird. I'm gonna try that in the crease. I don't know if I will use this palette a lot because it's very cool tone. Like I like some cool tone shadows, but this palette, I'm not sure. I don't really like this mirror because I'm trying to use this mirror. And because it's like a guitar, it's like blocking out parts of my face and it's kind of confusing me. I'm not, I'm not liking it too bad. But it seems to blend it out well. It is, it is more of like a taupey color that I'm using. But I guess it's a cool tone palette, so. I guess it's nice to have something different. You know, not everybody likes warm tones like I do. There are people out there that like cool tones. So now, I'm gonna take a tad bit of a darker shade, just like a tad, and I'm gonna use the Wicked, 
just like this red shade kind of. And I'm gonna go like directly into my crease more, just to give it a little more depth. And I'm using more of like a smaller tapered brush. They're blending out pretty nice for me. I've saw some reviews where people said that it wasn't blending out for them, but I'm using this these shadows as like my crease shades and even though they have like a shimmer you can tell like they look matte on my eyes they're not super shimmery like they look now i'm gonna take that shadow this one right here punk rock it it's like it looks like it has a little bit of like green silver and like brown shades like all mixed together so i'm gonna use that all over the lid because it looks shimmery. I'm spraying my brush with some setting spray. I do that with every shimmer shadow, it's just what I do, so I'm gonna do that from now. So far so good, it looks really nice. Very creamy. So, not bad, I like it. So now I'm gonna go back into Glam Rock, the first shade that I use to create a crease, and I'm just gonna kind of blend it, blend the shimmer with that. So I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna get, I kind of wanna use more shades, so I'm gonna get this shade right here. It's Rock On, and I'm going to put it on top of this shade using my finger. And it's making it a little more greener, which is kind of like the look I was going for. It's giving it like gold tones, gold vibes in it. You can tell this shade has more gold in it. Now for the outer corner, I'm gonna use one of these shadows as well. I don't really like black because black kind of intimidates me and I'm not like, I don't really like it because I don't really like how it blends. So I'm not gonna use black, but I am, I may use black on like as a liner. And I'm going to use the Wicked right here, and I'm going to do my outer corner with it. I like this shadow is a little more harder to blend, just a tad more harder. So it's a very, very grungy, grungy palette. So I am now gonna see if I can put the black on my lash line. I'm gonna need to get real close to my I feel like I'm gonna wet my brush. Maybe it'll be easier. I've never been good at using like powders as eyeliner. Remember when like the bare minerals kit came out? And you could use eyeliner. You could use the black powder as eyeliner. Never could do that. It's always extremely hard. I don't know if, I don't know if it's because this black shadow isn't black, but it seems more like gray. I don't know about that black shadow. I really don't know. I don't like it. This was the eye look, and there's not really like a crease shade not a crease um a brow bone shade in this palette that i can use so i'm probably gonna use another brow bone there's not really a brow bone shade in this palette so i'm gonna have to use like another eyeshadow palette to use one i try to use this palette alone but obviously that's not gonna work um so okay so the next product we got is a primer it is this dr brandt pores no more luminizer primer and it retails for $38. It says, Illuminizer Primer delivers a natural radiant glow while blurring pores and perfection for a beautifully illuminated, flawless complexion. So let's test it out. It smells minty. I'm trying to rub it into my pores real good. But my hands are definitely like radiant looking, if that makes sense. 
I can still see my pores, so I feel like it didn't really blur my pores. It, I feel like it made my skin soft. It kind of reminds me of the primer that I'm using now, that NYX one, but it's half the cost. So we'll see how my foundation turns out. So I'm gonna put my foundation, concealer, and all that on. And then we have two more products to talk about, and we'll be done. So let me put all that rest on my face, and I will be right back. Okay, so we're gonna talk about our next product, which we are gonna use in my next three steps. I put foundation, concealer, setting powder, and then we have this product. This is the pure, I don't know if you can see it, it's so bright. Can't really see it because it's so white. But this is the Pure Bronze and Brighten Dreamer Cheek Palette. But this retails for $34. I actually tried these out and I have some opinions. But these are so, these are, all three of them are very shimmery and they're very, very pigmented. Like, very pigmented. You can see that they're very pigmented. It looks like the bronze, like they're going to be so pigmented, they're going to just be too much for your skin. But it's really not. So first I'm going to start off by using this bronzer shade right here. Kind of a too much of an orangey tone and I feel like it can get a little patchy. Which I'm not a fan of. That's why I put like regular bronzer on, like a matte bronzer because I knew this was going to be shimmery. So that's the bronzer. I'm not like huge, huge, huge fan of it because it is like shimmery and it seems like it's like, it kind of, it kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? It sticks to certain places on your face and doesn't really blend out. So I'm not a huge, huge, huge fan of that bronzer, but I think it would be a really pretty eyeshadow, like all over that eyeshadow. So I'm gonna contour my face then I'll be right back. I feel like it does. See, like when I put the bronzer on my face, you thought that I was gonna be like, this is gonna be like, wha-bam, shimmer in your face. But it's really not. Like it gives you a nice glow, which is so weird because when you swatch it and you look at it in the pan, it looks like it's gonna be super intense. But it's really not. Like I said, it's just like has this patchiness to it that comes off. So now that we're all contoured and bronzed, I'm going to use the blush. Now I'm going to use this blush. If you can see, it's a very pinky peach, peach tone blush. It's, it's more of a peach tone blush and it really does show up like that. So you kind of got to go in a light with, with a light hand because this one is pigmented. See, like, it's a, I don't really have like too much peachy color blushes, like peachy orange. So I didn't know how they looked, but I'm really liking like the peachy orange color on my skin tone. I don't know, maybe it's just something different and that's why I like it, but I'm liking this. And I love that this blush has like a sheen to it. Like it makes you glow. And I really like it. Like I really like this palette so far. Like I really do. You know, the bronzer, not so much, but as far as like the blush, I'm gonna be using this blush a lot. I like it. I think that if you put this on like lighter skin tones like this may be too much for you because it's kind of already like too much for my skin tone kind of blend it out but see how it gives like that sheen to my skin i really like it all right so now we're going to move on to highlight and i'm going to use the middle shade right here which is a highlight which is gorgeous so this is an absolutely stunningly gorgeous highlight like, I thought it would be too, like, white for me, but I feel like it can go with so many multiple skin tones. I feel like if you're a lighter complexion, it will look really pretty on your skin tone, and even, like, a little bit more tanner skin tone like mine, it looks pretty, and I really, really like it. So, like, this palette is probably one of, like, my favorite things I got in it, in the whole BoxyCharm. Okay, now I'm going to highlight my inner corner with this highlight. And if you've been watching my channel, you know I use a regular highlighter to highlight my inner corner. And then I go in with another color from whatever palette I'm using to kind of mix the shades. So I don't know if I'm going to do that or just use this highlight. I think I'm just going to use this highlight because there's not really a color in that palette that I want to use on my inner corner. Like maybe the silver, but 
I don't know. I'm gonna go back into this palette to do my lower lash line. But so far, this is a hit. So I'm gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna take the first shade Glam Rock that I used on my crease and I'm gonna put it on my lower lash line. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Wicked, this shade right here, and I'm gonna go my outer third of my lower lash line. Since this is kind of a grungy look, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use this shade right here. It's like a, it's a silver, it's called Punk, and I'm gonna put that with some setting spray on my inner corner. So I used like a lot of shades in this palette, like almost all of them. So, this totally gave me grungy vibes, but I kinda like it. It's not a bad look, I kinda like it. So I'm gonna finish putting eyelashes and all that on, and then I'll be back with the last product. Okay, so now that I got most of the face done, last product that I got was this Girlactic Matte Lip Paint in the shade Posh. This retails for $23. Let's test this out. This is a beautiful color. This is totally like my tone of color. Like, this is probably the only liquid lipstick I've ever gotten from BoxyCharm that I actually love the color. Like, it's my tone of color. I, so far, am liking this. It seems like it's drying down nicely. It feels creamy at first. You can rub your lips together. It feels like a cream lipstick, um, but it's drying down. And it doesn't feel drying. So far, so good. I'm liking it. So I'd say this is a win. I know a lot of other people got other things, but I'm so glad I got this Girl Actic lipstick because I really like it and it's probably going to be one of my go-tos for a while now because it's totally my tones of color of lipstick that I love. Okay everyone, so that was my BoxyCharm try on unboxing and this lipstick I've had on for a while because my camera died and it's totally kiss proof. It's so comfortable. I don't even feel like I have it on my lips. This is maybe my new like go-to lipstick and I may need to buy more. So it's really good. But other than that, those were all my products. This was well worth, I think it's like a $148 box, like well worth over $21. If you would like more information on how you can sign up for BoxyCharm, I will leave a link down in the description below. If not, just Google BoxyCharm and you'll find all the information. It's $21 a month, totally worth your money. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you on my next one.